Hi everyone, um, this is Edwin from Manicam. Today we're going to talk about the Windows updates on Manicam and how Manicam is going to help you do better live video. Very happy to have Chris today here. He's the product manager of Manicam, and he's going to talk to us about what is inside the uh, Windows update. So, um, Chris, like I said, very happy to have you here. And because we have got a lot of questions and um, requests about uh, what is inside the Windows update, um, so can you talk to us about what is uh, in this update, which is uh, rolled out about a month ago? Sure. So um, about a month ago, we released a pretty major update for mainly it's aimed towards um, our English second language teachers and online teachers. Um, a lot of you guys asked to for us to add uh, folders and ways to manage your effects, rename them, rename the folders, etc. So we released the first version of that, which we hoped you guys would like and you did. And you've given us a lot of feedback. So um, we're aiming actually to incorporate your feedback into the next update in the next, I think, I'd like to say two weeks. And then we're also aiming to release that on Mac within the next two weeks also. So uh, that was one of the main features in that update. We also added a gaming feature. Previously, we've had game casting, but uh, it wasn't very advanced. So we completely redid the feature from the ground up. And now it's kind of in its first stages. So there's not too much with going on with that feature, but we are working on it as we go forward. So those are the two main things in the last update. How about Mac users? We cannot forget about Mac users, right? So actually, uh, last night we soft launched the latest version of Manicam Mac. Um, we actually have a major update plan, but we split it into two versions. So yesterday we released one that has um, a new preset management. So on the right side of Manicam, you're going to be able to manage your presets, rename them, and have an easier way to add video sources, picture in picture, et cetera, et cetera. Um, in this version, we also added a bunch of bug fixes and FPS, uh, frames per second, issue resolutions that you guys have been asking for. So it, it's mainly an optimization update. And within the next two weeks, we're aiming actually to push out the effects update. So we know a lot of you teachers are on Mac and you're waiting for this update, then it's coming. Can you tell us a little bit more as kind of a sneak peek what is what is coming up soon sure we actually have a lot of stuff in the pipeline right now um, at the moment we're working on a major update for Manicam Windows which is coming out I'd like to say within the new next two three weeks but it's hard to say with such a big update um, so desktop capture capturing windows capturing different monitors is has been completely reworked so uh, you're going to be able to capture hidden windows, windows that are minimized, and they'll have a much higher resolution and uh, FPS, FPS capture, sorry. So that update, I think we're pushing within two weeks, guaranteed. Other than that, we're actually adding a new video source, which is, we're calling it the web source. So you're going to be able to use websites as a video source. So for teachers, this is going to help you guys a lot where you have to show coursework or anything of that sort. Um, and for the more technical users, we've actually added an option in there where you're going to be able to modify the uh, CSS of the pages. So if you want to remove the background, change the coloring of something, you'll be able to do it directly within Manicam without modifying the web page. Uh, we're also adding 4K video support. So some of you guys have um, Brio cameras from Logitech, and you've been asking us when we're going to actually support the uh, video output from these cameras. So. Uh, this feature is actually already done. We're just finalizing it and hoping to release that with the same update that of the two features I just mentioned. So within the next two, three weeks, we should have 4K support. This also includes video recording and live streaming. So uh, it's not just what you see. It's also going to be what you output. Well, that's very exciting. That's more than a sneak peek. Yeah. Chris. Um, so thank you very much today. No uh, so there you have it. Um, this is the uh, Windows update and what is coming up next. So make sure you download the latest uh, version of Manicam. Uh, the link will be included below uh, this video. And let us know what you think. Comment it. Let us know uh, how you like Manicam and how it makes your life easier. 
Um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give us a thumbs down twice. Um, for more video tutorials and updates, please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.